Produce delivery day. Let's go feed some tortoises. We've got some organic dandelion delivered and also some curly endive. These are great additions to an otherwise naturalistic diet for tortoises. And remember, tortoises are grazers. So what they do is they spend a good portion of their day going in and out of cover. So what they'll do is they'll hide for the night, they'll wake up in the morning, they'll warm up, they'll start eating for a little while, grazing on different edibles. And they do this in nature too. And then they will hide, take a little break, come back out again, do it all over again, take another break just to come back and do it all over again before they call it a night. So what we're doing is simply adding to their diet that they get a well-rounded diet and of course, plenty of variety. Feeding days are always fun and they're also a great way for you to assess the health of your animals because you can judge their behavior as an indicator if they're healthy. You wanna see the animals come out for food, especially those that you've had for a long time. And these little Western Hermans tortoises, well, they're proving to me that they are very hungry and ready to eat, which is a great sign of health. Here you go, guys. And they'll destroy that whole pile. So Herman's tortoises and the rest of the genus Testudo, which includes your Greeks, your Marginated, your Russians, your Egyptians, uh, they are broad leaf eaters. Uh, weeds, flowers, shoots, sprouts. They're not a grassland species and they're also not a fruit eater. Even though the occasional ingestion of grass or fruit is fine, these animals really can't process the water or sugar content in fruits, so they should really only ever be offered sparingly. We grow a lot of our own food here for our animals, including strawberries. Um, so what we'll do is we'll actually give the tortoises the strawberry leaves. Occasionally, the actual fruit will fall into the enclosure, which is fine. But, you know, just like anything, all in moderation, and they really should be getting broad leafy greens primarily. They all seem to be more interested in me though right now. These might look like huge piles of greens to you guys. You might be thinking like, how are the tortoises gonna eat all that? Give it 24 hours, 36 hours maybe, every single little morsel will be gone. And that's because, again, they're grazers, they're browsers. They'll come out, take what they want, go back into hiding, do it again, and they may do it dozens of times in one day. And it's not unlike what they do in nature. That's what they do, they just walk around and eat. Sounds like a fun time to me. Even once the greens dry out or wilt in the sun, that's actually still very good for the tortoises. And in some cases, it's better for them as it mimics more of what they would be eating in nature. They eat plants that are rich in calcium, rich in fiber, but also low in protein. And a lot of these plants grow in nutrient poor soils. So again, that kind of mimics things a little bit more rather than feeding them these high sugary or high watery content plants that we find in grocery stores. A lot of these tortoises have an amazing feeding response and that's partially because they've been with us for so long. They learn to recognize me as the one that feeds them so when they see me they start going nuts and they tend to act like I don't feed them, but clearly I do. These are Ibra, uh, which we refer to as, um, these are the Ibra Greek tortoises, Testudo Greca Ibra, and overall they're just a very outgoing tortoise. 
And also, if you're wondering, how do our animals get calcium? We don't use any calcium powder, really, or any kind of additional vitamins. What we do is we offer them cuddle bone. This is cuddle fish bone. We just make sure it's strewn about the enclosure. It's often being sold for birds, and the tortoises can help themselves to it, because in nature, nobody forces it on them. They get calcium in the form of discarded snail shells, and they'll also gnaw on the bones of animals. When it comes to the giant tortoises like Mickey the Aldabra tortoise right here, they play a vital role in their environment because they kind of mold it, if you will. They're so big and they eat so much that they're able to clear pathways for other wildlife, not unlike what elephants do. They also are active participants in seed dispersal. And that's because when they eat certain plant life, their droppings then contain the seeds of those plants. And when they go, well, they're dispersing that plant life naturally. From a health standpoint, it's important for big tortoises like Aldabras and Galapagos tortoises to not always eat off the ground. And in fact, that's not what they do in nature. They're not always pulling vegetation that's coming up from underneath them or at eye level. They often have to reach for it. And that helps them keep that tall, strong walk because of the muscles they're building. And it also helps their neck muscles as well. Come here, Dixie. Oh. Well, <laughs> The produce place shorted us this week. We didn't get enough to get everybody fed, but that happens. But the good news is, Dixie here, the sulcata tortoise, is a grassland species, so the best possible food items for her are free, and they're right here. How's this, girl? There we go. Sulcata tortoises, just like leopard tortoises, they're a savanna, grassland species, and the absolute best food items that they can eat are grasses and of course weeds. So Dixie is helping herself to grass, plantain, also known as ribwort, and of course clover. And she will eat and eat and eat and eat and eat and eat. And that's why her pen is pretty much bare. So we can just hang out with her here for a while, enjoy the beautiful weather, and let her eat. Feeding tortoises properly doesn't have to be that challenging. You just have to really take into consideration what's good for them. And sometimes the items that are perfect for them are things that you would never really think of. Who would have thought you should be letting weeds grow like crazy in your yard? Everybody wants to have a pretty lawn, right? Not us. We like having the weed growth because that means free, nutritious, proper food for our tortoises. Hey friends, make sure that you're subscribed to our channel. It really helps us out. And also don't forget to click the bell icon for notifications so you get notified every time we post a video. If you're a fan of reptiles and especially love turtles and tortoises and want to help us out here at Garden State Tortoise, please consider becoming a patron today by joining our Patreon. The link is always in the description of these videos or you can just go to patreon.com and search Garden State State tortoise.